hello guys good morning and welcome back all right so in this video i want to show us how to be a content creator how to record your videos if you're a fashion designer right now these are the tools you must have if you have a ring light ring light this is a ring light i use but then i i am not making use of this now because um i have enough lightning in my office so take a look at my tripod stand this is my tripod stand it's a very long tripod stand right look at how long it is it is almost my height it is almost my height look at it it's almost my height right so now this tripod stand i bought it for i think um twenty thousand naira or thereabouts or i think less than that then you must have a mic you must have a mic it's called a k9 double lapel mic look at it now this mic is what i use to filter my voice so I will plug this mic in this phone and then I continue. Bear in mind that the first video, this first recording does not have a mic. It was a direct recording from my phone. So I have to turn it on from here. Once it turns on this way, right, I will take this mic and plug at my phone charger, phone port. And this light, this light becomes green. So now, as you can see, the voice clarity has changed right now this is going to be a, be a video to help you be a good content creator now you must make sure you have um these basic pattern tools um the pattern curve the hip pattern master and the hip curve and of course your fabric then look at the light i have installed in my office that point directly to my table where i make my videos now you must have a smooth table this table could be white or any color but preferably white is better off so that it gives you a clearer vision. Then enough lightning also on the ceiling and all around the shop and your brand name if you need one. And then light again all through. So now I will mount my phone on my tripod this way. I will now I will now place this tripod in a way that the phone will be bent where it captures the whole table, right? So I will replace this phone with the other one there. I will change this phone here. I will change it here this way. And then I will place it in to the tripod and then place it in a way that it covers the whole activities that happens on my table. Right? Now, the reason I'm taking my time to do this is to enable us to understand how to create content because I have met people that are asking me, how do you create content? How do you shoot your videos? Now, this video, we serve as a guide to create content and, and, and also for you to learn how to sew if you want to learn how to sew. Now, in this particular video, I am going to use um, short making, how to um, cut a male short to illustrate to us how to create this content. So you have a dual knowledge on this. If you want to learn how to create content, this is how to do it. If you want to learn how to make a short, this is also how to do it. So I will try my best to be fast enough. Now, you have to tell them the areas of measurement because that you know it does not mean that other people know it. You have to tell them areas of measurement, the waist, the hip, the short length, the lap, the knee, and then tell them as well how free the short measurement should be. And also let them know that short measurement can never be the same thing with your trouser right because shorts are meant to be free on your body then tell them that they have to mark out the baseline here and also mark out a baseline here for their personal uh, for their perfect drafting then also tell them that after the baseline has been marked out they have to apply two inches here for the short folding right for the short folding then tell them that they will join the line together because you need to explain to them in a layman's language so that they will understand. Because if you assume that they know it, you are making a big mistake, right? You have to tell them, don't assume that they should know it. So once you have done this, now the next thing to do is to also tell them that they need to um, apply their short length. So with the short length I have, it's a short length of a 19. Uh, let's do 18 because it's a small boy. 18 for my customer, right? Mark it this way. Tell them that they need to place it, mark it two times this way, and then connect the lines as well. Then 
also explain to them that that's what they call crouch. Now, crouch is the distance from your waist point to the under of your leg, and the hip measurement I have is 40. Then divided by 4, I have it to be 10. So I will use um, 10 for the crouch, right? So 10 for the crouch, while I connect the lines in this way. Then to give me that ease allowance, I will add extra half on my crouch, on my hip marking. That's 42, then extra 2 inches. And also tell them that for this shot, we are going to make it to be elastic on the waist, right? And rope. So you extend the line of the hip straight up to the um, waist line. But if you are making a normal zip and, and belt, you have to apply the waist divided by 4. You make it somewhere here and connect as well. And then tell them that you need to shape the in leg this way by 1 inch or 1.5, depending on how you do it. And then come in this way and then go out through to this very point. Then your knee, the knee I have is a knee of 17. So you mark 8.5 this way and then you connect in this form. So this is just basically how to create a content on short making. Then come up here by 2 inches and then mark your pocket opening by 6.5 or 7, depends on your customer size and then width of a um, 2.5 and that is all you need to do and then come here and connect with your curve right with your curve this way and this is the front panel of your shirt also show them the cutting process in case they don't understand the drafting so the cutting will clarify them where you have dropped shots on let me get my scissors and come back and cut it then in the cutting stage this is what we are going to do this is what we are going to do what we are going to do so just show them how these things are done now if, as you can observe even if you don't know how to cut a shot from this thing i have done now you have learned it right and then you have gotten that inspiration you have been um you have learned how to do this so it's just a matter of for you to explain in details what you are doing there's nothing big there's nothing hard in this right so if you just know how to do this you can do this every day and then keep on posting on YouTube and you see yourself being monetized at the end of the period, right? So, um, it's not all about sewing, only sewing. You need to also diversify your income. So by the time YouTube pay you, you'll be happy. So after you must have called the front panel, you also tend that like, they need to turn it backwards this way and then explain to them that they need to extend the back shot. Alright, so this is an example of what I am doing. So if you use this method, you will be able to create your own content in your own field. Then extend the line in this form, right? And then add extra two inches here, two inches here. Then take the line straight up to this very point. Then still extend it on the ankle area in that form. And then on the waist line, Add one inch and then two inches here and then connect the lines as shown. So this is what you just need to tell them. Then bear in mind that because we are making a um a, a rubber a, an elastic short and rope, you are not meant to raise. You are not meant to raise, except your customer is an extra large type. You can just raise by one and a half, right? But since it's a normal short, you just cut it equally. So uh, this is just, would I say, a clue on how to run a successful content. So once you have gotten to this cutting stage, now tell them that they should watch out for the sewing. So make mention of the sewing so that they understand that you have a video on sewing. And make sure that once, once you get video on sewing, you must also um, drop the video. Like once you have mentioned sewing, make sure that you make provision to drop the video, right? Then notch your pockets and possibly also tell them that you have a you the, the sewing will come maybe on Monday or the next day so that they will be aware and they will look out for the video on sewing on the sewing aspect. So this is for the front and back panel. Then the next to do here is to cut um, the band for the um, waist. So 
Now, the band measurements I will use, you would have to mark a straight line this way, mark a straight line this way, and then the next to do here is to, you know, band I am using is a double band, which is um, um, 2.5, 2 inches, double is 4, so plus half inch extra, that's 5. So I'm using 5. So by the time I fold into 2, it becomes um, 2.5. I'll use half to join. So 2 inches will be left because of the elastic. If I, I'll use them um, 2 inches elastic in fixing my elastics on my shorts, right? So now the length will be excessively long so that it could have enough room to compress. So this is just basically how to do this. And then I will also try to show you guys the sewing aspect of this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.